quiet day. <laughs> Tomato, tomato. to kind of get my life back together after the market and then also this weekend having fun with my sister. I need to clean my room, I need to pack orders for my Etsy shop and I also just wanna like kind of chill a little bit, you know what I mean? I need to rest and recharge. It's also like the last day of my period, I, I assume. Like I'm kind of at the tail end of it so I'm starting to feel my energy come back from that as well which is lovely, lovely. I got this new flavored tea. It's like a, it's supposed to be like an immune one, an immunity one. I can't really tell what the notes are in this, but I'm gonna see if I like it. I, I don't usually stray away from my like lemon ginger, ginger turmeric, peppermint or raspberry leaf tea. Those are like my four staples, but Target yesterday didn't have any of those except for peppermint. So I decided to get something new and different to try out and I'll let you know, it's too hot now to drink. That's way too hot. Oh, I need to upload the vlog actually. What time is it? Yeah, I should upload, I should upload the vlog. <laughs>
Now that I'm sitting here opening this bag, I'm kind of like, why would I unpack it just to repack it in like four days? So I think I'm just gonna take out the things that I need. Like I'll need these two boxes to fill up with more stock, but I think I should just keep everything else in here because I have it packed like the way that I had it every night so that it was easy for me to set up the next morning. So I think I'm just gonna leave it. I feel like that's, that's the smartest thing for me to do, right? Right. Actually, you know what I should do? I should put more bags in. This bag, one of the straps broke. So I need to order something that'll be a bit sturdier for markets. I could also maybe sew the thingy back on, but I don't think it'll feel as strong. Okay, let me just roll this over here. So I got my square reader in the mail just now. I don't know how this is gonna work because I haven't used one yet before at my market. But at my most recent market, the one, the week long one, there were a lot of tourists and they don't have either cash or Venmo. And so they were like, do you take card? And I didn't for until now because I just I haven't wanted to get a card reader because it opens up a whole other can of worms of like getting their like transaction fees and all that so yeah long story short I just felt like I missed out on maybe like 10 to 15 transactions this past market because I didn't offer card and I feel like if I'm going to keep doing markets I should probably start offering that so it came in this cutie little hat so I only got like the insert one the like sliding one Oh, because I didn't want to get like a full on card reader until I got the bearings of how this works. But I need to set this up and figure it out. Oh, they give me a little sticker as well of what they accept. So that's kind of nice too. I'll probably figure out a place to stick this. But yeah, I think, you know, it's just another way that I'm trying to level up my business, I guess. And we'll try it out at the market this weekend and see if it works. And, you know, it's trial and error. One of my friends was telling me that since they do take, like, transaction fees, like a lot of other places, they add in, like, oh, you know, if you pay with card, you're gonna, it's gonna be an extra, like, 50 cents or, like, a percentage of the piece that people are buying. I might just say that at markets. I'll be like, okay, I accept cash and Venmo. If you do want to pay by card, there will be an extra, like, 50 cents added to the purchase or something like that, just so then I can mitigate all of that like transaction fees. I don't know, if any of you guys are small business owners out there, please let me know what you do and how you kind of figure out that aspect of your of your business because when it comes to the finance side, I wouldn't say that I'm like completely in the dark about how to function as a business, but it isn't something that comes as second nature to me. I have to really turn on my brain to do the finances of my business and to like figure that all out. So it's definitely something that I have watched YouTube videos about, that I have like read about or that I ask my dad questions or I ask other people their opinion because it's just, there's just so much that goes into it. And 2024, I'm really, I really wanna scale up. So with that comes things like this and how to work with that. So anyway, another thing actually that I am thinking about doing next year as like products and as a way to expand my business is to sell prints. I, I feel like it's a whole other realm and like world of figuring out how to make these products because yeah, I can draw them all I want, but did I draw them in the correct like quality PI, which is like dots per inch, I think, or something like that? Like, did I make it the correct amount of pixels so that it prints nice and crisp on the paper? And then like, what kind of paper do I use? Do I want glossy? Do I want one that's textured? How thick do I want the paper to be? There's so much that goes into it. And I just <laughs> feel like I am in over my head. However, during Black Friday, Cello Bags From for my cards was having a sale. And because I want to move into prints, I was like, oh, now would be the time for me to order like these boards, backing boards and Cello Bags that would fit prints 
and not my cards and so I ordered a bunch of those and now it's just what well, it's just figuring out if I order the prints printed for me or if I print them here at home myself so I ordered four by six five by seven and eight by ten sizes for the backing and the cello bags this one is the four by six I believe and it's just like a cute little like sealed shut bag you can open and close and then I have the backing I did see because I watched a bunch of TikToks and YouTube videos of other people that sell prints and a lot of people were saying that when they ordered like exactly four by six cello bags it was really it took a long time to stuff the cardstock in there so i ordered ones that was like a little bit bigger i don't know if that makes them look not as like sleek but i feel like it just makes the packing process a bit easier when there's like extra room so i have this print i'm gonna call it my dinner time or like my dinner menu print it's a cute little pink design and it says dinner's at eight and it just has a bunch of little drawings i might still change up some of these drawings like i might change the wine glass to be a little bit more like realistic. I might change the flower vase a little bit, but I thought this one was really cute. I just love pink. Then I also printed it in the bigger size. So in a eight by 10, but let me know if you guys like this design. I printed this design as well in the four by six and the eight by 10. You can see there's a little bit of a difference with the strawberry like shape in these because the design I drew it in an 8x10 so when I scaled it down to a 4x6 it made it a little bit more of like a it stretched it so it looks more vertically stretched than it does in this one but I really like this design too it's just a little strawberry with a bow and it does give Christmas because of the green and then the bows in it I was thinking if I ever did make a cutie little like calendar for to release for 2025 this could be like the December drawing for it but yeah I like this design too so that is something else that I have been working on for my business i also have this design that i made it's just like a fun little pink vase again because i took inspiration from the like blue chinaware that my mum and dad have a lot of in their house and i wanted to do because pink is my favorite color i wanted to do it in pink so i have that design as well i also made a tomato tomato because i say tomato and here in america you all say tomato so I thought I would just make a little print for that as well. And these are also in the four by sixes. I did also print it in an eight by 10 as well. Yeah, those are all of my prints. I'm proud of them and I like them, but it's just whether or not people would actually buy them and also want them in their homes slash <laughs> it's also like, like I just said, how do I execute it? There's always so much to think about when it comes to small business stuff. I'm overwhelmed. And I'm stressed. from this place called Giel, Giel. People say it Giel, I say, I've always said Giel, I don't know. Anyway, I ordered a shirt from them. I'm so excited. I've been eyeing this shirt for a few months now and then they went, they had a Black Friday sale. So I was like, okay, 
now it's my time to shine let me order it i did want a few other things from them but i'm trying to shop less like impulsively and more just like getting the things that i really want <gasps> Ooh, the material feels nice Ooh, okay so it's this long sleeve sort of like asymmetrical shot okay let me put it on oh, i'm so excited here's the shot <laughs> Hang on. So it's this like asymmetrical, is that the right word? I don't know fashion. Okay, I don't know the terms. It's got this like almost one shoulder sort of situation. And then it has this also, oh, my mirror is dirty, but it has, it's like tied here. So there's this part that kind of like goes over it. Can you see in this lighting better? But yeah, it's, it's cute. I like it. I feel like it's exactly what I wanted it to be. And it fits the way that I wanted it to fit. Cute. I kind of, I like it. I think I'll probably keep it. It's something different for my closet. I have probably 5,000 million black shirts, but none that are like this sort of funky detail vibe. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna keep it. It's kind of one of those things that I have realized about my closet recently is that it's very basic and plain and that's fine there's nothing wrong with being basic or plain it's more that i just want to have pieces that are like a little bit more unique and while still being basic like this is still a basic black long sleeve t-shirt it just has a little bit of edge to it you know what i'm saying we have pilates in a couple of hours and i think i might just dust my room and vacuum my room before i go it's actually been a more productive day than I went into today thinking it would be. I finished a card design, I packed my orders, I did a bunch of admin stuff off camera. Yeah.